Well, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. It is lovely to have you here. Hey, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button if you would. I would love to have you here on a regular basis. And don't forget to hit that like button down there. If you like knife content, you have come to the right place. I upload new videos of new and interesting knives, or just knives that are interesting to me at the very least, two or three times a week, and I would love to share it with you. So uh, subscribe and join us. All right, what's on the table? This is something new from Artisan. This is the Ahab. It is a Nick Rogers design. Now, I have watched this thing through its process for a while now, and they're getting ready to drop it. I think it's available on their website now, which means it will be hitting, or it may have already hit, depending on when you're watching this, uh, various other retailers. It is just, well, it's a very cool design, and I like it. So let's talk about it, shall we? The Ahab is sort of a mid-price knife from the folks at Artisan. What do I mean by that? Well, it is their AR RPM 9, which is their powdered metallurgy budget steel, and I really like the AR RPM 9 steel. But you also get steel liners, you get a tie clip and a tie backspacer with G10, it's running on ceramic bearings, and it is a really excellent working tool design. Right? It's got that harpoon blade, which is where I think they get Ahab from. Right. Very slicey, really thin behind the edge. Nicely done, Artisan, you did a great job. Um, it's thumb stud deployed, and they of course work every single time, so the action is superb. The handle is not neutral, but also it doesn't really force you into any one particular position, so it's a really good, comfortable knife in hand. Now I've had this around for a while, this is in fact a proto that uh, the folks at Artisan loaned me quite some time ago, and I've sort of been holding off because I wanted to do the review and the look at it. Um, closer to when these were going to be available. And uh, some other channels have already beat me to the punch. This proto's been around a while, but it looks like they're getting ready to come to availability for you guys. So I thought I would share with you my thoughts. Now, since I've had this for a while, this thing has been in the pocket quite a bit, more than I usually carry a prototype, uh, just because I've had it available and I I've really come to like it. So for whatever it's worth, your humble overviewer, <laughs> Here really likes this knife. Um, as a day-to-day -day working tool, it is very, very good. Their AR RPM 9 steel gets mixed reviews. Um, anytime you throw the word budget in on anything, people kind of grr at it a little bit. But I gotta tell you, so far, my experience with Artisan's AR RPM 9 has been very, very good. This is no exception. Okay, let's take a closer look at the uh, Nick Rogers designed Ahab, shall we? First, as I mentioned, uh, it is a really slicey knife. Now, they do that because it is a full flat ground blade, right? Nice and tall, so it comes down to a very nice edge. It's got a marvelous harpoon shape, so it's got a great place to plant your thumb for slices this way. It also has sort of a natural resting spot here if you're doing draw cuts. It's got a nice bit of belly, right? It's not really steep, but it definitely has got shape to it. So this knife works really well, even in the kitchen, which is not bad, right? Makes it a little more useful. The uh, milled, uh, excuse me, the milled titanium pocket clip is got nice spring to it. It's tall enough that you can get it into even like thick jeans, and it's pretty. I mean, that is just a lovely looking tool. I like it. It's got the Nick Rogers logo on the blade. It does say AR RPM nine. It's got the serial number down here, and it's got the artisan logo over here. But beyond that, it's pretty clean. Right. This has got a lovely swedge right here across the top. You can see that reflecting in the light. It's not a complicated design, but a good one. And that matters, right? I think so. Uh, it's a frame, uh, excuse me, it's a frame lock. I'm looking at women carry knives over there. Clearly I need a nap. It's a liner lock, my goodness. Uh, but the liners are really milled and they're inset into the G10. So they don't show at all except here and look at, the, look at the lift right there, right? Your thumb gets in there super easy and it closes very easily. I really like the way they did that. I love that snap. <laughs> this is a great knife. <laughs> it's got a couple of screws here and underneath the uh, clip here and here holding the uh, G10 and the liners together, which is nice. Um, underneath are screws that go through the backspacer and it, as you can see, it has a hidden pivot. Now, the reason they did 
these screws on the sides so you can remove it and adjust the pivot if you need to easily without taking the whole knife apart, which is a thoughtful element. The pocket clip is screwed on from the inside, so there's no visible screw there. I just think it's an interesting, and as I mentioned, a very clean design. It's got a really, really nice tip on it, as you can see, and it is pokey, so if you need to give something a little prod to move it along, this will do just fine. What was that? Let me carry knives is over there saying stuff. The backspacer is titanium also. It's got a little milling on it for interest, and it does have a lanyard post at the back of the knife, which doesn't interfere with the design in any other way, and I'm a big fan of that because I don't lanyard. If you want to, it's available, and yet you don't have to like deal with it most of the time. I think it's nice. If they make one of these in full titanium, <laughs> I'll absolutely get one of those too. Let's do some size comparisons and then we'll get the other specs out of the way. Here it is against the Hogue Deca. All right, we line these up. As you can see, the uh, Ahab is just bigger in general than the uh, Hogue Deca. It's got a little more handle and a little more, well, actually quite a bit more cutting. What else is on the table that's interesting? Here it is against our old friend, the Bug Out. Similar to the Deca, but not the same. And you may, some of you may have had one and not the other. As you can see, the Ahab is bigger than the uh, Bug Out. This, of course, is a fancy Bug Out that belongs to women carry knives. Here it is against the uh, ZT0920. Just because it's on the table and I love this knife. As you can see, the Ahab is considerably smaller than that. And finally... Benchmade Presidio 2, and the Ahab is much, much smaller. But interestingly enough, you get about the same amount of cutting area. That's cool. This is a nice design. I think we saw this about a year ago originally, and it's just been making its way through the production process ever since. I'm really glad it's finally getting ready to really be out there, or as I said, depending on when you started watching this video, it may already be available to you. I'm not sure. Uh, one of the things I like most about it is you have more cutting edge than you do actually blade length because of the way they did this sort of forward or rear sweeping cut on the G10. So you get three, basically three and a half inches, a little shy of three and a half inches of cutting on three and a quarter inches, depending on where you measure it to, of their AR RPM 9 blade steel. Uh, now I hold the knife right about here, coming just to the end of the G10, so that's where I'm going to measure it from. You get one, two, three and a half inches of grip, so my hand fits. I roll over just a little bit, but even with this sweep, I don't feel like I'm going to fall off the end. You can come a little farther forward. Now, because there's nothing really, there's no shape here, you're not going to want to jam into stuff too hard because you could move your hand forward. But there's a nice spot right here with a little bit of jimping right there. It lets you know where your fingers are on the blade, which is a really nice feature. Uh, the thumb studs have a really interesting shape to them. They're not in the way of the cutting path, which is a really great feature. A lot of thumb stud knives tend to forget that you might want to cut with the back end of the blade, and the thumb studs interfere. That is not the case here. And they work. They're a little aggressive. You can hear that, but that just means there's good grip. Man, does this thing snap open. The liner lock is locked up at about 50%. Um, and as I mentioned, well, maybe I mentioned it, it's got lovely lift. So your thumb slides over the show side scale and grabs hold of that without any effort. It's just right where you want it to be. I am an artisan knife fan. I have been for a long time. Uh, this is one of the reasons why. When they decide to do something, they tend to lean into it and do it pretty well. Now, in the early days, they had some really wacky and funky designs. But the last couple of years, they have dropped just straight functional, amazing tools. This is another example of that. The knife is just shy of 8 inches overall, so probably 7.9, 7.95 uh, overall. It is a really nice length. Now because of this really tall blade, it is a little tall when closed. So if we line that up on this line, yeah, we're looking at an inch and a half at its thickest. So you're going to know it's in the pocket, but because there's no flipper and this is nicely rounded, even this isn't sharp. 
Um, it's not going to bang into stuff in your pocket. And of course, since it's in the pocket this way, this is the back of the pocket over here, you could put other stuff in the pocket with, a, with it without worrying about it getting scratched up. That's a really nice feature. Closed length, we are looking at uh, four and a half inches. So not bad overall. I just, I think it's a cool design. <laughs> I really do. Uh, it just kept not showing up. And finally, um, there's some articles on it, like in Blade Magazine and some other places where you can finally get a look at this thing. And I know these are available on the Artisan website. They're about 90 bucks right now on the website, which means they're going to be a little bit less than that when they hit a broader selection of vendors. So you can either grab one now or you can wait a little while. It'll be up to you. It is nice and light. As I said, the liners are milled, and I wish I could show it to you because they are really milled. Um, yeah, there's just no way that's going to show, but they did a great job at that as well. Uh, there's no jimping across the top of the blade, and I sort of wish there was. It would be nice to have some right about there, but you can pull your thumb forward and hit this, the, sort of the top of the harpoon, I guess, bone, and uh, it keeps you from coming too far forward, which is nice. This is a really nice knife. <laughs> now I mentioned it's slicey. Now part of that is because it starts with a reasonably thin slice of the Air RPM9. We're talking about 2.65 millimeters. But the nice thing about a tall blade like this is that if it starts thin, excuse me, I know how to speak, watch me go. As it starts thin, it tends to finish even thinner. Now it's not you know, we're not TRM thin down here, um, so it doesn't feel fragile, but it definitely comes to a nice edge. It's a real slicer. It's been a joy to carry. It really has. It's nice and light. Let's go ahead and weigh it out and see where we land. Okay. 3.3 ounces for three and a half inches of blade. So it's actually a little over, the, a little under, excuse me, the ounce per inch weight limit that people like for EDC. That's why I like carrying it so much. It, you really sort of forget it's in the pocket until you need it, and then you got all this fantastic blade to work with. As I said, they're about 90 bucks right now on the Artisan website, which means they'll come in a little bit less than that when they hit your favorite knife vendor. Keep your eyes open, and in the meantime, if you're in a hurry, you can go get one now. Uh, I don't often like say, hey, you should go get this knife, but in this case, I'm gonna. Hey, you should go get this knife, because <laughs> I really like it. I think it's very cool. It's uh, certainly not boring. That matters. You know, one of the things about the, the bug out, for instance, where did that go? There it is. Of course, this is a fancy one, but the bug out is literally just a knife, right? This one's fancy, but you get where I'm going. Um, this knife manages to have a ton of personality without that personality interfering with it being a functional tool. And that makes me very happy. And that's where we're going to wrap it up. This is the Artisan Ahab, designed by Nick Rogers. It is AR RPM 9 with steel liners, a titanium, lovely titanium clip, and backspacer fantastic harpoon blade shape, and just an overall great carry. I hope you've enjoyed this look at it. I know I have enjoyed having it. Thank you so much for your time today, and uh, we'll see you next time.